Hi everybody, it's Carla from Casey Creates and I'm here just to do a little project share. I said I would come back and show you my uh, lace and fabric crafts inspired pottery and it is now fired and finished and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I wanted to come and show it to you. Um, let's see, I'll start with these little loopy dishes. I call them my loopy dishes because I roll loops of clay and twists of clay and um, create these forms. This one can be like a little tea bag rest or somewhere where you rest your earrings and jewelry. Actually, both of them could. But um, these are created with rolled lace into clay and then lots of little floral applique. And I, um, for the potters who watch, it's fired to cone 5.6, which is a nice high fire, mid range to high fire. And I used an antique white glaze that is called Snowflake. And I think it's by Laguna. And it's uh, Little Loafers clay body by high water so I really really love working with this clay and it's just wonderful to hand roll the coils I almost find it therapeutic when I'm rolling my coils of clay as much as I do working with fabric and lace so anyway these are the loopy dishes and then this is a larger one that I showed as I was creating it and this is it finished it's got the floral little embellishments lots of twisted coils there's the lace inlaid in the bottom and that's the side and the bottom my little symbol is a foot with a kc and um, yeah so it's oval these are actually oven safe so you can even keep your rolls or bread warm in these fruit nuts anything you wanted and these are the baskets there's two different sizes i love that this one has like a cluster of flowers on the handle very much like i cluster the paper and fabric flowers on my lace crafting there's a side with a little bunch of daisy applique and twisted coils to make this one and this one's very much the same only no no decorations on the handle and I'm gonna actually put some holiday Jordan almonds in this one and tuck it in a place where somebody can snag a snack <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones this is that double-sided vase that I made um, in the actual creation video of this piece and I'm looking forward to putting um, some pretty little pansies I think would be sweet in here for now I'll just show you with these little fake flowers which really aren't doing it any justice let's see anyway I think you get the idea and so because they're um, high fired and vitrified they'll hold water um, hopefully without leaking but I will probably set it on a little dish just to be sure it won't seep um, not because it's not sealed but sometimes clay can still seep even though it's glazed on the inside so that is this piece with all the chunky flower applique on it this is about three and a half inches tall i guess and then the last two pieces i'm going to show you are um the two pictures this one stands about six inches tall and this one about two and a half inches two inches oh, is that two i'm not very good at guessing heights but again i just uh textured it by rolling um a floral and polka dot texture in the surface of the clay and then used a lot of floral little um, embellishments and the beading all around i love scallops and this reminds me of scalloped lace with little maybe flat back pearls so i wanted to jump on and show you that i'm excited because i'm actually on my way to a fun little 
annual Christmas party that my wonderful friend Rita has me uh, has for me every year and as a hostess gift I'm gonna take these to Rita and if you saw her home it is absolutely gorgeous and she always makes me feel like I've been invited to a tea party at the palace or something it's always so beautiful but anyway I'm gonna put some little sugar cubes in here in a baggie first but um, and then this little creamer and this is a tea bag rest so I'm going to put a really nice box of um, tea for her in a gift bag and the reason I'm sharing that with you is because I want to show you the gift bag that I created it's an altered bag and I used a lot of the fun things that Debbie Vignola gifted me um, when I won her challenge prize. Thank you, Debbie. I love this paper line. I think it's called Pink Christmas. But this is the bag. And this bag is very much inspired by um, my lovely friend Angie. Hi, Angie Paisy. You guys have to see her cards. And she just does beautiful clustering with flowers and pearls and pink is her favorite color and pink is definitely one of my favorite colors especially when I'm working with shabby chic things um, and so I wanted to work this in also love watching paper made pretty is her name Doreen I don't know all I know is she is a fabulous chunky luscious shabby chic creator and when you watch her videos, Paper Made Pretty, you will see how all of this was inspired by watching her as well. So um, I just layered the paper line, inked the edges, added some nice thin lace, and I love putting pretty with natural, so that's why I mounted it on this rustic craft paper. I have a bow with uh, seam binding and lace and eyelash trim and underneath there's some of this really pretty lace it has the satiny embroidered flowers um, so yeah I'm sorry I can't get the whole thing in frame there's a tag and if you just look lift things up you just keep seeing more and more there's some pearl lace and more trim there little sparkly snowflake and I have to admit I, I've been avoiding these foam flowers I don't know if I just was being snobby and thinking they look cheap but once you incorporate them in with the paper flowers and the satin flowers they really do look nice so that's what I get for being a snob <laughs> anyway this is just the way I embellished it I had a little sprig of these pink beads uh, they were sold in the what do you call those stems sprigs anyway in the Christmas area last year and I bought them really really cheap at the end of the season and I've been tucking them in so they're not actually pearls but they're a nice size and a beautiful shade of pink so this is my altered gift bag that I will be wrapping all of Rita's pieces in. I'm actually having my Christmas coffee here. Mm. It's not Christmas coffee, it's coffee in my Christmas mug. <laughs> but I thought it would be fun to wrap Rita's pieces first in these round doilies and then secure them like little bundles like this. So that's what I'm about to do. And then I'm going to get her box of tea and put them in my shabby altered bag like this. So I have more videos. You guys, I said I would come back and do a craft with me and I still want to do that. Probably won't be until tomorrow now, but I will be back soon. I hope you enjoyed seeing my um, lace and fabric craft inspired pottery now that it's finished and my shabby altered gift bag. I hope you all are having um, a great holiday season. There's still more time to enjoy it, so I hope you're not panicked or feeling 
like it's getting away from you one moment at a time. We just need to remember the reason for the season. Enjoy your loved ones and find a way to make the holidays happy and bright. Talk to you again soon. Bye.